Thanks for checking out this video on the Red Panda Palette by Endangered Cosmetics. I'll introduce the brand, share my swatches, share a couple of eye looks, followed by my final thoughts. As an intro, Endangered Cosmetics is a UK indie brand recently launched in 2021. The brand is based in London in my neck of the woods and is founded by Daisel Choi, who is a makeup artist and animal enthusiast. The brand name pretty much represents the collections that are going to be designed, with a mission to raise awareness about animals in need, focusing on the ones that are endangered. It would be a great shame if they become extinct. Endangered Cosmetics is planning to release collections featuring different wildlife habitats where you'll learn about an endangered species with each release, as well as having colour stories based around them, which I really like the idea of. The brand are stated as vegan, cruelty-free and sustainably packaged. They're not yet verified by independent sources, but they are pretty brand new. Worldwide shipping is also offered for my international friends. Endangered Cosmetics have been transparent in stating 10% of their profits will go to a wildlife charity, which I think is great. The Red Panda Pressed Powder Palette is their first product launch after the endangered species, also nicknamed Firefox. Endangered Cosmetics provides a little fact card with your purchase, so you get to learn that they live in a forest habitat around Nepal, Burma and China, and they have fun facts on their website too, like the fact that they existed before the giant pandas that we all know and are familiar with. As at 2020, there's thought to be only a few thousand of them left. So this first palette is a great tribute to the cause. And for this collection, Endangered Cosmetics will be donating to the Red Panda Network, which is registered as a non-profit organisation in the US, working on conservation projects to protect pandas since 2007. If you'd like to find out more, I'll leave a link in the description box. So onto the palette, it came really well packaged. And I think the palette packaging has a really cute design. And I like the way the sleeve has a little hole so you can see the red panda peeping, then revealed on the palette once you remove the sleeve. On the back, you can see these shadows last for 12 months, which is fairly standard. I'm pretty sure this indicates that there's 10 pans each with one gram of product. And the formula is not particularly different, it's a standard formula. They've designed the colour story really well to reflect the panda. It's a pretty good mix of shimmers and mattes with different tones. So that's how the palette looks, here's how they swatch. Those are the swatches, some nice warm shades with a few neutrals. Here's a few looks I created, starting with the first look.
that's the first look. I tried to create some contrasting colours here. Here's the second look. second look. I tried to make this more neutral. Here's the third look. That's the third look. Just trying a warm transitional red look with a mini cut crease. Here's the fourth look. the final look. Just a simple warm one. For my final thoughts, I think this is a great first palette by the brand. It's a beautiful, simple, elegant design in terms of the packaging and the colour story. They're really on point with the red panda theme. I really do love the colour story. I find it really cohesive. It's a really good mix between shimmers and mattes. You've also got warm amber red tones balanced with some neutrals, as well as the light and dark shades. It's got soft as well as the bold shades and it's a great tribute to the Red Panda. I find it has a really nice balance. I think you can create a number of looks with that if you play around with a palette. As I mentioned, the formulas are standard, but these actually have a really nice soft creamy texture in the pan. I'd compare them to the same way the Kaleidos matte shadows feel in their six pan palettes. It has that same feel and texture. Both the mattes and shimmers have a really good pigment and overall they're easy to blend. Just like my Kaleidos shadows, the darker ones do need a little bit more effort to blend. So I'm really impressed. So in terms of wear, it lasted around 7 hours or so with a primer and I have oily eyelids with hooded monolid eyes. With setting spray it lasts a bit over that time. I think the warmer orangey shades tend to last a lot longer as well. So overall pretty decent. I really respect that the brand is very transparent on the percentage of donation made. There's some that don't disclose that information and say something like a portion of the proceeds but you don't actually know how much they're donating. I think there's also the investment into the packaging as well, it's been really nicely done. So you've got 10 1 gram shades, the palette is £34, so it's not in the super affordable range. I think the value is found in the quality and design of the packaging as well as what's gone into the palette itself and from my experience 
colours. These shadows felt creamier than the other ones that have the same standard ingredients, so I'm not sure they might be formulated differently. But with that and the charity partnership to donate the percentage of the profits, I think the value is not bad actually with a really well designed product. The quality is good and it's the first launch by a very new and very small indie brand. I'd recommend this if the values, environmental theme and the warm vibes speak to you. And if you're into indie makeup, you like supporting the indie brands, you may appreciate something like this. It is a bit more on the pricier side of the indie market range though. But I do love this palette and especially the brand values. In terms of shipping and service, I got it really quick within two to three days. The UK price seems reasonable. International will be more expensive. You'll find more on their shipping page or you can pop to my review blog, which I've linked in the description box. I'll cover some of it there. This is the palette I'll reach for to create warm looks. So those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you think of this new palette and the brand. And what wildlife animal are you most curious about? Comment below and thanks for watching.